Hey, Mr. Parker here to review uh, the newest Bills Above movie, Indie Director. And uh, first and foremost, I must say, I know not a lot of people, not, I don't want to say a lot of people, but a lot of people are Bills Above fans, or some like some, some hate others. But I gotta say, regardless of your feeling towards Bills Above movies or him or whatever, you gotta see this one. I, I believe this is his best made film, and I think it's his most personal and. There's a lot of good stuff in here that I completely learned about the independent movie uh, shuffle, I guess, you know, conventions, distributors, uh, investors, uh, actresses, actresses, all sorts of things like that. And, uh, you know, you've heard him, I've, I've seen him at conventions, he talked about some of this stuff at points, and it's all in this movie, and I think that you can actually see, like, his anger at points in this movie as well. And he is very uh, funny in this as well. Like, he's got a very strange thing about it. He's, like, obnoxious, yet clever, yet witty and immature all at the same time. And it really works in here. Like, you'll hear this, like, these stupid immature jokes, but then witty puns afterwards. And puns are very funny. He's full of energy in this movie, completely ADHD. And he brings in some of his other, like, friends that are directors, like Mike Mahoney's in this one. And, uh... He's really funny as well, and they bounce off each other really well, like they've been friends for years. I don't really know if they have. But Bad news, Bill. FUK has removed all references to you from their catalog and their online shop. Why the fuck would they do that? Isn't my movie breaking all sorts of sales records? Their catalog is so widely distributed that they came to the attention of a watchdog group. And one of the credit card giants, as well as PayFriend, have threatened FUK that if they sell your movies, their privileges to process credit card orders will be revoked. So you got fucked by F.U.K. I don't understand why the credit card company and pay friend deny the sale of an item that is actually a legal commercial product. That's like me going to a gas station and they won't let me fill up because they don't like what kind of car I drive. It's blind censorship. Would you believe that my comedy Metalheads got flagged? Because apparently rape is something you can't joke about. They flagged Metalheads? I made a career out of doing everything wrong. Nobody else has... Blasphemy. Nobody else has racial humor. Nobody else depicts rape in movies. Not even as a joke. I do the things that everybody else is afraid to do. I thought you made rape movies for the money. I make them for that reason now, but in the early days, I wanted to test boundaries. Gore is stupid. Oh, it's so boundary pushing. Oh, oh, I, I, look at that lady on the screen. She just got her neck sliced. Oh, oh, there's something new. Blood is coming out of the wound, and we see it coming out of the wound in her neck. I've only seen it a billion times. Ha! Huh, I can't wait to see it the billionth and one time. It's pushing the boundaries of my patience. That's what it is. There's just a lot of great dialogue in between here, and it's really a, it's a comedy, of course, but it's also educational as well about all the things in there. And I, I was just blown away by some of the stuff in there and uh, how he spoke a lot of truth. I'm surprised. Like, he changed some of the names slightly on things about kind of pay friend, kind of screwing people over because some uh, watchdog organization kind of, like, shoved it. Uh, they didn't want to carry the titles and whatnot. So basically all these things were getting closed down and whatnot, and you learned how... Uh, there's a whole bunch of strings coming uh, from behind the sets, pulling movies and telling people what to watch and censorship and whatnot. And regardless of what you like or what you hate, censorship just overall disgusts me. I hate censorship. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyone should fight censorship. I just think it's the worst thing ever. One of them. It makes no sense why it exists. But uh, any obviously lobbyists and shit are behind that or certain small little groups. And... Uh, and pretty much everyone hates a little something, so pretty soon if they're all doing it, they're, everything's going to be gone. But he makes a great point in here why things are controlling other things. And uh, there's really funny lines in here as well, like there's a catalog called F.U.K., and uh, they have a Christmas catalog that gets put out every year, and he's trying to make a movie so it can get put out on the catalog, and the guy's like, who's investing in it, the printer, he's like, should I really be want my want to have my movie in a, a catalog called Fuck Christmas? And that was hilarious. And some of the just ways the puns bounce off between uh, the way Mike Mahoney and him talk, uh, I just think this is by far his best movie, and I think it's actually really, really funny and, entertainment and uh, entertaining and educational at the same time. Of course, it has the typical Bills Above uh, nudity and things like that, but these are basically just him dealing with actresses and all the problems that probably have ever come up on set and uh, all the weird uh, abnormalities about doing movies and the hardships and whatnot and how to make money and how to fail and the ups and downs and the funny things like that. And the way him talking about Frankenstein is also amazing in there and all sorts of good things in here. And uh, 
you know, like I said, a lot of people will be like, I not into like his movies, or you know, they're just not into all the movies like that. Uh, I'm thinking uh, like they're not into like his rape uh, horror movies and stuff like that, but into his comedies and vice versa. And he explains a big chunk in here about the rape horror being really just an outlet, so he can make the funny comedy movies and other things. But it's kind of like uh, the what is it? The Ford uh, used to say, you got to make one for them, make one for yourself, and. Uh, I really appreciate this movie, and I think that a lot of people, it would open some people's eyes. I think it's for what it is. I mean, of course, there's just, you know, like, obvious, like, they shot this, and somebody's not there, so they edit in the footage. Cheap crap like that at points, but, you know, it's not really about that. It's it's really about just watching, like, a two-hour, uh, sort of a rant, but a very educational rant with a bunch of jokes sprinkled in. And uh, Mike Mahoney mentions, a, they mention this company called Cerebral Damage in there, and they kind of just say how uh, they screw over filmmakers and whatnot, and, you know, pay, pay friend and things like that, and all these companies. And you, if you know anything about films, a little, I mean, horror, under independent horror movies and labels and things like that, you know exactly what they're talking about at points. And, uh, it's kind of nice that he can, you know, give a couple jabs back and open some people's eyes about how shitty things can be. But thank you very much for watching this review, and uh, thank you for making this movie because I find it very interesting. And I, I'm, not, I, I'm in. I'm not. I don't like all his movies. Uh, I like some. I think I, I, I'm a more at the comedies. I think some of them are really funny, like Dirtbags. It's kind of like a dark comedy, I guess you'd say. And uh, some of the things in here, like I said, sometimes like, he does have an offensive streak, of course. Like, some of the immature, like, gay jokes could obviously offend some people. But, eh, if you're not, if you're easily offended, then you're probably not into a lot of independent, weird, or Bills Above movies, period. So, uh, there you go. But I'm going to throw in some clips in here I think that people enjoy. And, uh, yeah, I caught myself laughing out loud quite a bit. And, uh... There's also footage of conventions in here, like you can see Cinema Wasteland there, and you can even see a little puppet from Easter Casket there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Welcome back to that. The really important question is, what kind of a person do you see playing the hero? Well, I see him being well-educated, clean-cut, handsome, and black. No, 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 that's not what I had in mind. But don't you think it would greatly enhance your movie if you broke the stereotype? As a filmmaker, you have a duty to enhance culture. What greater culture is there in this country than black culture? Blacks came here as the low man on the totem pole and throughout the centuries, they, they proved themselves. They overcame more obstacles than anybody else. And you know what? They forgave us. Don't you think that we owe our viewers just, just a little bit of that culture? Hmm? Just a little bit. Phone stalked me so much, I had to change my number. I even had to block him on the internet. I can't believe you would take her side. She's not the only girl who said something. I would never do something like that to your business. Get help. All you do is make stupid comments and girls giggle and you think that they like you. They're just being polite, you big fat monster. Holy shit. Fucking see a therapist. You've never had a real conversation with a girl. A real one, not an instant message. Oh, I'm so brilliant. You can't see my fat stomach on the computer screen. You can just see the wit that you don't even find funny or witty because there's no way I'm just a fat bastard typing away at a computer with my sausage fingers. And sometimes I hit two keys at once because my fingers are so fat. Fuck you. I, I asked you to hold the boom because I didn't think that you'd creep out the girls but you're the king of the creeps. You don't even wear a crown because you're too fat to wear a crown. Yeah, I may have a big head, but you have a big stomach and that's why you can't have a crown.